We are back. The next guest starred in the HBO series Mind of the Married Man, and beginning today, you can see him in the critically acclaimed film, which he wrote and directed, The Upside of Anger. Please welcome Mike Binder. It's How you doing? <laughs> Good to Good. see you. You got out of here really fast. Absolutely, you know. I, just, I didn't even clear the desk, and you were right there. I, know, I wanted to beat you. I wanted yeah. To beat you. They Good shot you it. out of an air cannon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so thanks for being here. Um, you know, I, we're noticing it was, you know, uh, getting a lot of good buzz on this movie. Yeah, really good review. And, uh, and it was watching the movie today and thinking about the, the series that you had on HBO, Man of the Married Man. And there seems to be a theme that you're working <laughs> Which is... Troubled that, men. Yeah, <laughs> married men or guys in relationships and men that are obsessed with women all the time. And, and it, it almost seems like you have a very cynical attitude. Is that true? No, actually, I don't. I, I actually, I've been married a long time. I actually kind of came at that show from uh, as being a very positive take on marriage. But, you know, you know men are screwed up, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, men are screwed up, you know. And not, you know, not all men, but right. uh, but not all married men, you know. I think think about the things that I write about, but the ones that I would feel safe showering next to do. So you're saying oh, that sorry. that are that are healthy. What well, you're saying? Uh, what are you what are you saying? I'm just exactly? saying that you know, normal. Healthy married men, I think. The grass is always greener. Right? They're I mean, obsessed with other women all the time. Yeah, is that what you're saying? it doesn't mean they want to do anything. But, but by the same token... Yes, it does. <laughs> listen, they want to do something, they just may not do it. Absolutely. They may not act on uh, it, but they want to do something. Just thoughts. It's actions that put you in marriage jail. Right, right, right. But you're married. Yeah, you're married. I, right. saw, I saw the way you were just now with the dark angel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that was a beautiful girl. If she looked at you the right way and the wrong day... You'd be tabloid fodder. fodder. That's not true. No, no, no. no. I, uh, I feel nothing for her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I saw that. <laughs> it's completely platonic. Uh, she might as well be a guy as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about me and you? Uh, I'm Do very attracted to you. Thank yeah, you. I'm, thank I you. think you're sexy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, I, I think, <laughs> look, we all think things. You know, I'm out here every night with these beautiful women, and you have thoughts, but would you act on them? No. Yes. Uh, <laughs> No, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I yeah. wouldn't. But, but I also think, you know, for me to write about guys that do and right. to write about guys that think, it's interesting. It's, sure. It's a release. That's what I told my wife. <laughs> it's a release. And by yeah. the way, I used to always say, and it wasn't me. It was the other writers on the show that came up with all that stuff. Right, right. Now, you've, uh, you started out doing stand-up very young. Absolutely, yeah. How old? You were 17? Yeah, I was 17. I was actually 18. I was the doorman at the comedy store in Westwood, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which was a great time. It was like... When all that was happening, the, the stand-up comedy was taken off It was like again. the first big revolution boom in stand-up comedy. So you must have seen everybody. Oh, it must have been some I great times. I remember one night I was standing in front of the comedy store in Westwood, and a, uh, a Mercedes pulls up, and Ringo Starr gets out. Mm-hmm. And I found out later that he was with Neil Israel, the director, and he was told, look, just say there's a table for Neil Israel, and his name's at the door. Right. And he was crocked. So he gets out, and he just walks right, gets right by me, and he goes, there's a table for Neil Israel, his name is at the door. Right, right. And I go, oh, my God, this is Ringo Starr. There's a table for Neil Israel, and his name is at the door. And the guy cannot say anything but the line he was told to do. Right, right. So normally you don't let a drunk guy in, but he was Ringo Starr. You've got to let a beetle in, We yeah. let him in. He sits in, like, the middle of the thing, and he's heckling all night. There's a table for Neil Israel. His name is at the door. That's his heckling? That was his heckling. All night long, there's a table Uh for Neil Israel. But it was great. It was, you know, it was, <laughs> you know, that, you know uh-huh. that, that night, I mean, Letterman and Leno. They were all doing stand-up back then, They were all there then, yeah. just starting that night, you know, in that time. And it, it was just like, and we, I remember we were all excited. One of the Beatles is here. Yeah, right. but he's drunk. Yeah. yeah, but so what? And he's he, a Beatle. He keeps saying the same thing. <laughs> he keeps thing. saying there's a table for Neil yeah, Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So it was been like a, but that was been a great time, it was too. A, great a surreal time. event it to see great, Ringo, all those great stand-ups. It was a really great time. It was a great time to be part of that all, you know, that that, that whole era when stand-up kind of came back and right. all those guys really were, uh, you know, I, I just remember, you know, Letterman and Leno mm-hmm. and, and Jim Carrey. and I mean, it was just really, there was some incredible, 
incredible comedians, you know. Right, and you can see them all. Yeah. Well, things have turned out well for you. You didn't stick with the stand-up, but no. writing, directing, a lot of people talking about this movie. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going well. It, you know, Kevin the, Costner. Kevin Costner's good in it, and uh, Joan Allen. It's actually, I wrote it for Joan Allen. I was in The Contender with mm -hmm. Joan Allen, and she said to me one day, you know, why don't you write a comedy for me? And I was like, don't ask again, because I'll start writing tomorrow. Right. You know, because she, she's, I mean, Joan Allen's amazing, and... And uh, I wrote it basically as a vehicle for her, and and uh, and got Kevin in it, and 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 we got you know Kerry Russell and Erica Christensen, and uh, Alicia Witt and Evan Rachel Wood, who for arguably the best young actresses in the world, right. you know. Well, we have a clip here. What do we need to know for this scene? Uh, this clip is uh, me and Jessica Alba. We're we're, sh <laughs> we're in a strip club. Yeah, yeah. And I <laughs> And I'm lassoing her. Right, it's, right. No, this is uh, actually, this is, I start up, I'm, I'm a radio producer, and I, and I start up with Joan Allen's daughter, who's way, way too young for me, and Joan Allen hates my guts, and she comes in one day and finds us in the bedroom. All right, let's take a look at this clip from The Upside of Anger. Chef, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, hey. it's 5 o'clock. Okay, no, 5 o'clock. My mother's downstairs. We need to get up. We need to get I'm up right now. Yeah. 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 Hello. Okay, not now. We need to get it. No, we need to get up. My. God. Oh. That was weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like... I want to see <laughs> so you wrote this movie and directed it. <laughs> Gave yourself a nice little part there, didn't you? I really should be banned. Could I be in the movie? I'll be with her. <laughs> <laughs> Write something for me sometime, buddy. Don't uh, ask. Yeah, yeah. I want to be in one of these movies. Yeah. The Upside of Anger is in uh, select cities. Check it out. Mike Binder. Thanks so much for coming by. Good, Good to you have you here. We'll be right back with the Queens of the Stone Age. Stick around. Everybody, we're back.